Hello and welcome everybody to another set of my tutorials. Today we are going to look at advanced detailing and my main focus is going to be sectionally embedded details. Now by sectionally embedded details I mean these are the details you can only see when you take a section through a family and uh, these details can be embedded either in 3D model families or profile families. An example is I want to use an earlier example the coffered ceiling we made earlier on. Assuming somebody is wowed by this detail and they really want to show it everywhere, it cuts a section through the coffered ceiling, then what we are going to do in that case is to have a modification of that family in section you cut a section to the family and uh, just go crazy with whatever detail you want to see in that family so in the families the 3d model families there are two ways of embedding sectional details the first is the use of annotate symbolic line or the detail component now this is unlikely for the profile type section of families because uh, in the profiles you don't use symbolic lines so the only option you have is to use the detail component so this is a 3d kind of family so we don't have that challenge we have the leeway to use symbolic lines and detail component this is an example let's use a detail component in this case and i'm being asked to pick a plane the plane is actually the plane which would give us this kind of a view i'm so st certain that it is the center left right plane so that is what i will choose for my first experiment i will go to annotate detail component center left right then I will load a family detail item that is what detail components are let me check something in fastenings sorry metals structural fastenings assuming I want to join my coffered ceiling with a nail or uh, or with some 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 connector maybe an expansion bo bolt at the bottom of the ceiling so I want that after every sectional cut I see this detail that and let me also use the second component of it using of the use of symbolic lines maybe I want to make it look you know a little more complex so i maybe had uh, some timber and some eggs you know, to show the timber and i want all these things to be seen in my sectional view that's why i refer to them as sectional <coughs> sectionally embedded details so let's assume that if if i zoom into my coffered ceiling I'm supposed to see such a detail then this is also a detail component which I sketched I loaded it from the profile families and my actual 3d is made up of uh, if I isolate it it's made up of that profile there so once you get the section of details in then you can load it into family and overwrite now you will be so sure that you will see your detail under two conditions the first one that it must be a section and the second the sectional line must cut perpendicularly to the direction of of that particular detail so if you get if you go if you've got a section line which doesn't cut perpendicularly or maybe angularly you won't see that particular detail so these are the conditions which must be satisfied for you to see such a detail and you know the smaller the the larger you make your scale the the more likely you are able to see your 
give a section of details <coughs> like that for instance so this is the first part of a uh, of advanced detailing in the second part we are going to focus on on sectionally embedded details in profile Revit families. Thanks for watching.